According to Shakespeare, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. But some Italian Canadians would beg to differ when it comes to the name of a legendary Cape Breton roadway. CBC's Tom Murphy has that story. Ah, the beautiful Cabot Trail, named for explorer John Cabot, home to highlands, harbors, and lately, hostility toward the mere mention of changing its name. Oh, the fuss over an extra O. So it's actually Cabot, or not Cabot. And it was all started by this man at the I National Congress of Italian Canadians. The truth is that his name was Giovanni Cabot. And I have difficulty driving along the Cabot Trail and, and, and knowing that it was an Italian. An Italian who was named Giovanni Cabotto, but who was known to the English who sponsored his voyages as John Cabot. Some Italians believe it's an historical inaccuracy that needs correcting. But I found here on the Cabot Trail, people aren't in the mood for such a change. I think it's ridiculous. Why do you say that? Ridiculous. What's wrong with changing it? It's always been the Cabot Trail. I, I said to the wife, I said, uh, I didn't think it was very, you know, so suitable. I like the way it is myself. And no matter how far we drove along the trail, People here said they should get to the sun. I think they're off the rocker. <laughs> well, I think we live here. We should have the first sight. But the Italian-Canadian Congress persists. I mean, I wouldn't want to know that Jack Carter had anything to do with uh, Quebec or Sam of Champagne. Their names were Jacques Cartier. We seem to be able to say that in Samuel de Champlain. So, from the Cape Breton Italians, John Cabot Trail, and right below it, via Giovanni Caboto. So now we have English on the top and Italian on the bottom. A proposed compromise. Yes. How Canadian. Of course, the fact is, historians can't say for sure whether Cabot or Cabato, if you prefer, even landed in Cape Breton or Newfoundland. But we're not going to go down that road. Tom Murphy, CBC News, on the Cabot Trail.